<coughs> Greetings friends and welcome to the gameplay guide on the if statement. If you have a bit of a programming background you'll know all about if statements. However if you don't have a programming background it'll still be super super useful for you to use if statements. As soon as I figured out how to use them it really saved me a lot of time and effort in my dreams. So let's get stuck in. So first things first we're going to go into gadgets, logic and processing and get ourselves a variable. We're going to rename it x. Then the core of the if statement is the calculator. The calculator is a great tool because we can check if x, connected to the a port, is equal to b, and we'll make b1, then it'll return a true or false value. So in other words, we have x, is it equal to 1? At the moment it's not. So if we had to use it to power something like a tag, we would be able to tell that it's not going to power it. If x was equal to 1, for example, then of course it would power the tag. So that's all there really is to an if statement, but let's go over a few more usages of how this could be useful in your own dreams. Okay friends, now I'm going to show you how to use if statements to make your characters look a little bit battle damaged. So as you can see, I've painted on a few scratches and scars that this guy has, but I want to make it that these only appear when he has less than a certain amount of health. So Firstly, I want to make these disappear because I don't want him to have scratches when he's not even in the fight yet. So I'm going to go into this painting and make opacity zero. Then I'm going to put down a little keyframe, which you get in animate. And I'm going to make opacity 100% again. And I'll call this keyframe wounds. Alrighty. But now, how do I activate wounds? Because I want to make it that when he has a certain amount of health, that these wounds appear. What we'll do is... We'll go into this health manager, 01 and square, go into the inputs and outputs, and we see we've got a like a heart that's sort of half filled and it's actually highlighted at the moment. We're going to keep that to the left here. Then we're going to go gadgets, get ourselves a nice calculator from logic and processing, and put it down anywhere you like. Then I'm going to go remaining health percentage, which is this one that's highlighted, connect it to A, and make it so that when the A, which is the current health, which is currently at 100%, that 1 basically means 100%. If it is less than 0.5, or in other words 50%, it's going to activate these wounds. So at the moment he's living his best life and he doesn't have any wounds. But if I go into the health manager and reduce his current health, substantially oh there his wounds have appeared so if I increase it to more than 50 oh they disappear but he's been injured so now he has all his scratches so that's how you could use if statements to add some little battle damage and scars to your characters the next thing I want to show you friends is how to use if statements to unlock things you can use this to unlock abilities or skills or different areas but I want to show you how to unlock a door so what I've got here at the moment is I've got just the default door sculpture, which you can get from the Welcome Home pack, uh, just the MM sort of uh, pre-made assets. And what happens is, if we do a little playthrough, when I come up to this door, it'll open, and then I can walk through it. And I've just made this little key here, that when I walk up to it, it plays a sound and it disappears. But now I want to make it that I can't actually open this door unless I have the key. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to go into our little puppet over here. I'm going to put down a new variable, which we go into logic and processing, variable, and I'm going to call this key. Now I'm going to set the value, the min value to 0 and the max value to 1. So in other words, 0 is false and 1 is true. It's going to be at false by default. So in other words, you could make this, do you have the key? 0 is no, 1 is yes. So key... At the moment, I don't have it. Now I'm going to go to my key logic, and I'm going to make it so I've got a little timeline here that makes it go invisible, play a sound, and then disappear. So what I'm going to do is just add a variable modifier into this little timeline, but you don't even need a timeline if you if you don't feel like it. This is just me being extra. We go variable name. We go key. Uh, set. Sorry, not get. We'll have it at set, and you'll set it to one. Now what's going to happen is when you get this key, it's going to set key to 1. 
Now in our door logic by default, it just says when we are nearby, the door is going to open. And you can see we've got the open door keyframe, which makes it ka-ching, turn on its hinge. Alrighty, I'm going to delete this connection here, move this a little over. Then I'm going to add a variable modifier. This one is also going to look at key. So it's going to get the value. We're going to put down a calculator, which is of course the core, the core of our if statement. Just move this around a bit. And we're going to make it so that if the value of key is equal to one, in other words, it is true that you have the key and this trigger zone is nearby, or the character's in the trigger zone. So we're going to put down a little AND gate. We're going to have, if it is true that you have the key, and you are nearby, then it will unlock the door. So let's see what happens. If I walk up to it, nothing. Let me get the key. Alrighty. Let me go here. And the door unlocks. So friends, that's all you have to do to unlock different areas, different doors, all those sorts of things. As you can see, if statements are super useful. So here we have our three examples of the uses of if statements and calculators. In this situation, if x is equal to y, then it will activate z. Over here, if x is less than y, then it will be activating our little wounds over here. And finally, We've got a slightly more complex one where we use X as a true or false. It can be zero or one. By default, it's false. We don't have the key. When you get the key, it's set to one or true. And then uh, we've got a little door over here that works that only if you are nearby and the key, or in other words, X is one or true, it will open. I know there's a lot of craziness and logic going on there, friends. So if you're a little bit confused, then do let me know in the comments. I hope you find this super useful. I use it in all my dreams all the time. I hope you'll be able to find a use for your if statements. And if you're still a little bit uncertain, as I say, let me know and I'll help you out. Thanks, friends. Catch you on the flip-flop. Peace out.